is Bill Miller and I just wanted to show you the uh, Pitbull restraint system. So right here you see one system for one bike. You get a base plate, you get the latches, and you get the swing arm mount with a set of pins for whatever bike that you order for. So you'll lay down this base plate and you use the holes here with the provided bolts, washers and nuts and the collars here. And you use that as a template where however far you want it, you know, and your measurements, you have to do that with the bikes. Uh, it took me about two hours to do the whole kit, an hour, basically an hour a bike. Fairly easy on the sprinter. The only thing I had to do was drop the spare tire underneath. Other than that, it was just a bolt-in system. The bike rolls in, it clips into these latches, and you fold them just like this. You can pick these up and slide the system out. And this goes right onto your swing arm with the attached pins. Uh, the average price for one bike is about $300. Some are a little cheaper, some are a little over 300, but it's right in that range. Driving around town, I did about 70 miles today with the bike in the back. The bike doesn't shift and move when you're going around corners. Like, I mean, I can completely pull a 180 in the middle of the road, the bike doesn't flip over. As you can see, it's, you know, the bike's not going anywhere. You don't have to use straps, no blown fork seals. If you have flat tires or van wheel or something, you can just roll the bike and clip it in. It takes like 10 seconds to put the bike in. The stand that we went over today is for the Triumph Street Triple in the Daytona. Um, it's bike specific, but you can change. It's kind of not because you can change the pins and put it in a Honda or a Kawasaki or whatever bike that you're riding. I'm like already happy with it and I barely used them. It's uh, definitely what I needed. Um, I'm pretty excited to give it a use over the uh, this next season.